In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, saying, The Lord was very angry with your fathers. Therefore say to them, This is what the Lord of armies says, Return to me, declares the Lord of armies, that I may return to you, says the Lord of armies. Do not be like your fathers, to whom the former prophets proclaimed, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, Return now from your evil ways and from your evil deeds. But they did not listen or pay attention to me, declares the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But did my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, not overtake your fathers? Then they repented and said, Just as the Lord of armies planned to do to us in accordance with our ways and our deeds, so he has dealt with us. On the twenty-fourth day of the eleventh month, that is, the month Shebat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, as follows. I saw at night, and behold, a man was riding on a red horse, and he was standing among the myrtle trees which were in the ravine, with red, sorrel, and white horses behind him. Then I said, what are these, my Lord? And the angel who was speaking with me said to me, I will show you what these are. And the man who was standing among the myrtle trees responded and said, These are the ones whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. So they responded to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees and said, We have patrolled the earth, and behold, all the earth is still and quiet. Then the angel of the Lord said, Lord of armies, how long will you take no pity on Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, with which you have been indignant for these seventy years? And the Lord responded to the angel who was speaking with me with gracious words, comforting words. So the angel who was speaking with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, I am exceedingly jealous for Jerusalem and Zion. 15 But I am very angry with the nations who are carefree, for while I was only a little angry, they furthered the disaster. Therefore the Lord says this, I will return to Jerusalem with compassion, my house will be built in it, declares the Lord of armies, and a measuring line will be stretched over Jerusalem. Again, proclaim, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, my cities will again overflow with prosperity, and the Lord will again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, there were four horns. So I said to the angel who was speaking with me, What are these? And he said to me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. And I said, What are these coming to do? And he said, These are the horns that have scattered Judah so that no one lifts up his head, but these craftsmen have come to frighten them, to throw down the horns of the nations who have lifted up their horns against the land of Judah in order to scatter it. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, saying, the Lord was very angry with your fathers. Therefore say to them, This is what the Lord of armies says, Return to me, declares the Lord of armies, that I may return to you, says the Lord of armies. Do not be like your fathers, to whom the former prophets proclaimed, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, Return now from your evil ways and from your evil deeds. But they did not listen or pay attention to me, declares the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But did my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, not overtake your fathers? Then they repented and said, Just as the Lord of armies planned to do to us in accordance with our ways and our deeds, so he has dealt with us. 
On the twenty-fourth day of the eleventh month, that is, the month Shebat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, as follows. I saw at night, and behold, a man was riding on a red horse, and he was standing among the myrtle trees which were in the ravine, with red, sorrel, and white horses behind him. Then I said, What are these, my Lord? And the angel who was speaking with me said to me, I will show you what these are. And the man who was standing among the myrtle trees responded and said, These are the ones whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. So they responded to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees and said, We have patrolled the earth, and behold, all the earth is still and quiet. Then the angel of the Lord said, Lord of armies, how long will you take no pity on Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, with which you have been indignant for these seventy years? And the Lord responded to the angel who was speaking with me with gracious words, comforting words. So the angel who was speaking with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, I am exceedingly jealous for Jerusalem and Zion. 15 But I am very angry with the nations who are carefree, for while I was only a little angry, they furthered the disaster. Therefore the Lord says this, I will return to Jerusalem with compassion, my house will be built in it, declares the Lord of armies, and a measuring line will be stretched over Jerusalem. Again, proclaim, saying, This is what the Lord of armies says, my cities will again overflow with prosperity, and the Lord will again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, there were four horns. So I said to the angel who was speaking with me, What are these? And he said to me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. And I said, What are these coming to do? And he said, These are the horns that have scattered Judah so that no one lifts up his head, but these craftsmen have come to frighten them, to throw down the horns of the nations who have lifted up their horns against the land of Judah in order to scatter it. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, there was a man with a measuring line in his hand. So I said, Where are you going? And he said to me, To measure Jerusalem, to see how wide it is and how long it is. And behold, the angel who had been speaking with me was going out, and another angel was going out to meet him. And he said to him, Run, speak to that young man there, saying, Jerusalem will be inhabited as open country because of the multitude of people and cattle within it. But I, declares the Lord, will be a wall of fire to her on all sides, and I will be the glory in her midst. You there, flee from the land of the north, declares the Lord, because I have spread you out like the four winds of the heavens, declares the Lord. You, Zion, escape, you who are living with the daughter of Babylon. For the Lord of armies says this, after glory he has sent me against the nations that plunder you, for the one who touches you, touches the apple of his eye. For behold, I am going to wave my hand over them so that they will be plunder for their slaves. Then you will know that the Lord of armies has sent me. Shout for joy and rejoice, daughter of Zion, for behold I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, declares the Lord. And many nations will join themselves to the Lord on that day and will become my people. Then I will dwell in your midst, and you will know that the Lord of armies has sent me to you. And the Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all mankind, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right to accuse him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, 
Satan. Indeed, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a log snatched from the fire? Now Joshua was clothed in filthy garments and was standing before the angel. And he responded and said to those who were standing before him, saying, Remove the filthy garments from him. Again he said to him, See, I have taken your guilt away from you and will clothe you with festive robes. Then I said, Have them put a clean headband on his head. So they put the clean headband on his head and clothed him with garments, while the angel of the Lord was standing by. And the angel of the Lord admonished Joshua, saying, The Lord of armies says this, If you walk in my ways and perform my service, then you will both govern my house and be in charge of my courtyards, and I will grant you free access among these who are standing here. Now listen, Joshua, you high priest, you and your friends who are sitting in front of you, indeed they are men who are a sign, for behold, I am going to bring in my servant the branch. For behold, the stone that I have put before Joshua, on one stone are seven eyes. Behold, I am going to engrave an inscription on it, declares the Lord of armies, and I will remove the guilt of that land in one day. On that day, declares the Lord of armies, every one of you will invite his neighbor to sit under his vine and under his fig tree. Then the angel who had been speaking with me returned and woke me, like a person who is awakened from his sleep. And he said to me, What do you see? And I said, I see, and behold, a lampstand all of gold with its bowl on the top of it, and its seven lamps on it with seven spouts belonging to each of the lamps which are on the top of it. Also two olive trees by it, one on the right side of the bowl and the other on its left side. Then I said to the angel who was speaking with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? So the angel who was speaking with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of armies. What are you, you great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you will become a plain, and he will bring out the top stone with shouts of, Grace, grace to it. Also the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house, and his hands will finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of armies has sent me to you. For who has shown contempt for the day of small things? But these seven will rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel, they are the eyes of the Lord roaming throughout the earth. Then I said to him, What are these two olive trees on the right of the lampstand and on its left? And I responded the second time and said to him, What are the two olive branches which are beside the two golden pipes, which empty the golden oil from themselves? So he answered me, saying, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he said, These are the two anointed ones, who are standing by the Lord of the whole earth. Now I raised my eyes again and looked, and behold, for chariots were going out from between the two mountains, and the mountains were bronze mountains. With the first chariot were red horses, with the second chariot black horses. With the third chariot white horses, and with the fourth chariot strong spotted horses. So I responded and said to the angel who was speaking with me, What are these, my Lord? The angel replied to me, These are the four spirits of heaven, going out after taking their stand before the Lord of all the earth. With one of which the black horses are going out to the north country, and the white ones are to go out after them, while the spotted ones are to go out to the south country. When the strong ones went out, they were eager to go to patrol the earth. And he said, Go, patrol the earth. So they patrolled the earth. Then he called out to me and spoke to me, saying, See, 
Those who are going to the land of the north have appeased my wrath in the land of the north. The word of the Lord also came to me, saying, Take an offering from the exiles, from Heldai, Tabija, and Judiah, and ye shall go the same day and enter the house of Josiah the son of Zephaniah, where they have arrived from Babylon. Also take silver and gold, make an ornate crown, and set it on the head of Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Then say to him, The Lord of armies says this, Behold, there is a man whose name is Branch, for he will branch out from where he is, and he will build the temple of the Lord. Yes, it is he who will build the temple of the Lord, and he who will bear the majesty and sit and rule on his throne. So he will be a priest on his throne, and the council of peace will be between the two offices. Now the crown will become a reminder in the temple of the Lord to Helem, Tabijah, Jediah, and Hen the son of Zephaniah. Those who are far away will come and build the temple of the Lord. Then you will know that the Lord of armies has sent me to you. And it will take place if you completely obey the Lord your God. In the fourth year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah on the fourth day of the ninth month, which is Chislev. Now the town of Bethel had sent Sharezer and Regemelech and their men to seek the favor of the Lord. Speaking to the priests who belong to the house of the Lord of Armies, and to the prophets, saying, Shall I weep in the fifth month and fast, as I have done these many years? Then the word of the Lord of Armies came to me, saying, Say to all the people of the land and to the priests, When you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh months these seventy years, was it actually for me that you fasted? And when you eat and drink, do you not eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Are these not the words which the Lord proclaimed by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited and carefree along with its cities around it, and the Negev and the foothills were inhabited? Then the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, saying, This is what the Lord of armies has said, Dispense true justice and practice kindness and compassion each to his brother. And do not oppress the widow or the orphan, the stranger or the poor, and do not devise evil in your hearts against one another. But they refused to pay attention, and turned a stubborn shoulder and plugged their ears from hearing. They also made their hearts as hard as a diamond so that they could not hear the law and the words which the Lord of armies had sent by his Spirit through the former prophets, therefore great wrath came from the Lord of armies. And just as he called and they would not listen, so they called and I would not listen, says the Lord of armies. But I scattered them with a storm wind among all the nations whom they did not know. So the land was desolated behind them so that no one went back and forth, since they made the pleasant land desolate. Then the word of the Lord of armies came, saying, The Lord of armies says this, I am exceedingly jealous for Zion, yes, with great wrath I am jealous for her. The Lord says this, I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the City of Truth, and the mountain of the Lord of Armies will be called the Holy Mountain. The Lord of Armies says this, Old men and old women will again sit in the public squares of Jerusalem, each person with his staff in his hand because of age. And the public squares of the city will be filled with boys and girls playing in its squares. The Lord of Armies says this, if it is too difficult in the sight of the remnant of this people in those days, will it also be too difficult in my sight, declares the Lord of Armies. The Lord of Armies says this, Behold, I am going to save my people from the land of the east and from the land of the west. And I will bring them back and they will live in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and righteousness. The Lord of Armies says this, Let your hands be strong, you who are listening in these days to these words from the mouth of the prophets, 
those who spoke in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of armies was laid, so that the temple might be built. For before those days there was no wage for man nor any wage for animal, and for him who went out or came in there was no peace because of his enemies, and I sent all the people against one another. But now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days, declares the Lord of armies. For there will be the seed of peace, the vine will yield its fruit, the land will yield its produce, and the heavens will provide their due, and I will give to the remnant of this people all these things as an inheritance. And it will come about that just as you were a curse among the nations, house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you that you may become a blessing. Do not fear, let your hands be strong. For this is what the Lord of armies says, Just as I determined to do harm to you when your fathers provoked me to anger, says the Lord of armies, and I have not relented. So I have again determined in these days to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Do not fear. These are the things which you shall do, speak the truth to one another, judge with truth and judgment for peace at your gates. Also let none of you devise evil in your heart against another, and do not love perjury, for all these things are what I hate, declares the Lord. Then the word of the Lord of armies came to me, saying, The Lord of armies says this, The fast of the fourth, the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth months will become joy, jubilation, and cheerful festivals for the house of Judah, so love truth and peace. The Lord of armies says this, It will yet turn out that peoples will come, that is, the inhabitants of many cities. The inhabitants of one city will go to another, saying, Let's go at once to plead for the favor of the Lord, and to seek the Lord of armies, I also will go. So many peoples and mighty nations will come to seek the Lord of armies in Jerusalem, and to plead for the favor of the Lord. The Lord of armies says this, In those days ten people from all the nations will grasp the garment of a Jew, saying, Let us go with you for we have heard that God is with you. The pronouncement of the word of the Lord is against the land of Hadrach, with Damascus as its resting place, for the eyes of mankind, especially of all the tribes of Israel, are toward the Lord. And Hamath also, which borders on it, Tyre and Sidon, though they are very wise. For Tyre built herself a fortress, and piled up silver like dust, and gold like the mud of the streets. Behold, the Lord will dispossess her and throw her wealth into the sea, and she will be consumed with fire. Ashkelon will see it and be afraid. Gaza too will writhe in great pain, also Ekron, because her hope has been ruined. Moreover, the king will perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon will not be inhabited. And a people of mixed origins will live in Ashdod, and I will eliminate the pride of the Philistines. And I will remove their blood from their mouth and their detestable things from between their teeth. Then they also will be a remnant for our God, and be like a clan in Judah, and Ekron will be like a Jebusite. But I will camp around my house because of an army, because of him who passes by and returns, and no oppressor will pass over them any more, for now I have seen with my eyes. Rejoice greatly, daughter of Zion! Shout in triumph, daughter of Jerusalem! Behold, your king is coming to you, he is righteous and endowed with salvation, humble, and mounted on a donkey, even on a colt, the foal of a donkey. And I will eliminate the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem, and the bow of war will be eliminated. And he will speak peace to the nations, and his dominion will be from sea to sea, and from the Euphrates river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I have set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners who have the hope, 
This very day I am declaring that I will restore double to you. For I will bend Judah as my bow, I will fill the bow with Ephraim. And I will stir up your sons, Zion, against your sons, Greece, and I will make you like a warrior's sword. Then the Lord will appear over them, and his arrow will go forth like lightning, and the Lord God will blow the trumpet, and march in the storm winds of the south. The Lord of armies will protect them. And they will devour and trample on the sling stones, and they will drink and be boisterous as with wine, and they will be filled like a sacrificial basin, drenched like the corners of the altar. And the Lord their God will save them on that day as the flock of his people, for they are like the precious stones of a crown, sparkling on his land. For how great will their loveliness and beauty be! Grain will make the young men flourish, and new wine, the virgins. Ask for rain from the Lord at the time of the spring rain, the Lord who makes the storm winds, and he will give them showers of rain, vegetation in the field to each person. For the household idols speak deception, and the diviners see an illusion and tell deceitful dreams, they comfort in vain. Therefore the people wander like sheep, they are wretched because there is no shepherd. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the male goats, for the Lord of armies has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them like his majestic horse in battle. From them will come the cornerstone, from them the tent peg, from them the bow of battle, from them every tyrant, all of them together. And they will be like warriors, trampling down the enemy in the mud of the streets in battle, and they will fight, because the Lord will be with them, and the riders on horses will be put to shame. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them back, because I have had compassion on them, and they will be as though I had not rejected them, for I am the Lord their God and I will answer them. Ephraim will be like a warrior, and their heart will be joyful as if from wine, indeed, their children will see it and be joyful, their heart will rejoice in the Lord. I will whistle for them and gather them together, for I have redeemed them, and they will be as numerous as they were before. When I scatter them among the peoples, they will remember me in distant countries, and they with their children will live and come back. I will bring them back from the land of Egypt and gather them from Assyria, and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon until no room can be found for them. And they will pass through the sea of distress and he will strike the waves in the sea, so that all the depths of the Nile will dry up, and the pride of Assyria will be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt will depart. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and in his name they will walk, declares the Lord. Open your doors, Lebanon, so that a fire may feed on your cedars. Wail, Juniper, because the cedar has fallen, for the magnificent trees have been destroyed, wail, oaks of Bashan, because the impenetrable forest has come down. There is a sound of the shepherd's wail, for their splendor is ruined, there is a sound of the young lion's roar, for the pride of the Jordan is ruined. This is what the Lord my God says, Pasture the flock doomed to slaughter. Those who buy them slaughter them and go unpunished, and each of those who sell them says, Blessed be the Lord, for I have become rich. And their own shepherds have no compassion for them. For I will no longer have compassion for the inhabitants of the land, declares the Lord, but behold, I will let the people fall, each into another's power and into the power of his king, and they will crush the land, and I will not rescue them from their power. So I pastured the flock doomed to slaughter, therefore also the afflicted of the flock. And I took for myself two staffs, the one I called favor, and the other I called union, so I pastured the flock. Then I did away with the three shepherds in one month, for my soul was impatient with them, and their soul also was tired of me. Then I said, I will not pasture you. What is to die, let it die, and what is to perish, let it perish, 
and let those who are left eat one another's flesh. And I took my staff favor and cut it in pieces, to break my covenant which I had made with all the peoples. So it was broken on that day, and so the afflicted of the flock who were watching me realized that it was the word of the Lord. And I said to them, If it is good in your sight, give me my wages, but if not, never mind. So they weighed out thirty shekels of silver as my wages. Then the Lord said to me, Throw it to the potter, that magnificent price at which I was valued by them. So I took the thirty shekels of silver and threw them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Then I cut in pieces my second staff union, to break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said to me, Take again for yourself the equipment of a foolish shepherd. For behold, I am going to raise up a shepherd in the land who will not care for the perishing, seek the scattered, heal the broken, or provide for the one who is exhausted, but will devour the flesh of the fat sheep and tear off their hoofs. Woe to the worthless shepherd who abandons the flock! A sword will be on his arm and on his right eye. His arm will be totally withered, and his right eye will be blind. The pronouncement of the word of the Lord concerning Israel, the Lord who stretches out the heavens, lays the foundation of the earth, and forms the spirit of a person within him, declares. Behold, I am going to make Jerusalem a cup that causes staggering to all the peoples around, and when the siege is against Jerusalem, it will also be against Judah. It will come about on that day that I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the peoples, all who lift it will injure themselves severely. And all the nations of the earth will be gathered against it. On that day, declares the Lord, I will strike every horse with confusion and its rider with insanity. But I will watch over the house of Judah, while I strike every horse of the peoples with blindness. Then the clans of Judah will say in their hearts, The inhabitants of Jerusalem are a strong support for us through the Lord of armies, their God. On that day I will make the clans of Judah like a fire pot among pieces of wood and a flaming torch among sheaves, so they will consume on the right and on the left all the surrounding peoples, while the inhabitants of Jerusalem again live on their own sites in Jerusalem. The Lord also will save the tents of Judah first, so that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem will not be greater than Judah. On that day the Lord will protect the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the one who is feeble among them on that day will be like David, and the house of David will be like God, like the angel of the Lord before them. And on that day I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of pleading, so that they will look at me whom they pierced and they will mourn for him, like one mourning for an only son, and they will weep bitterly over him like the bitter weeping over a firstborn. On that day the mourning in Jerusalem will be great, like the mourning of Hadadrimon in the plain of Megiddo. The land will mourn, every family by itself, the family of the house of David by itself and their wives by themselves, the family of the house of Nathan by itself and their wives by themselves. The family of the house of Levi by itself and their wives by themselves, the family of the Shimites by itself and their wives by themselves. All the families that are left, every family by itself, and their wives by themselves. On that day a fountain will be opened for the house of David and for the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for sin and for defilement. And it will come about on that day, declares the Lord of armies, that I will eliminate the names of the idols from the land, and they will no longer be remembered, and I will also remove the prophets and the unclean spirit from the land. And if anyone still prophesies, then his father and mother who gave birth to him will say to him, You shall not live, because you have spoken falsely in the name of the Lord, and his father and mother who gave birth to him shall pierce him through when he prophesies. 
Also it will come about on that day that the prophets will each be ashamed of his vision when he prophesies, and they will not put on a hairy robe in order to deceive. But he will say, I am not a prophet, I am a cultivator of the ground, because a man sold me as a slave in my youth. And someone will say to him, What are these wounds between your arms? Then he will say, Those with which I was wounded at the house of my friends. Awake, sword, against my shepherd, and against the man, my associate, declares the Lord of armies. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered, and I will turn my hand against the little ones. And it will come about in all the land, declares the Lord, that two parts in it will be cut off and perish, but the third will be left in it. And I will bring the third part through the fire, refine them as silver is refined, and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name, and I will answer them, I will say, they are my people, and they will say, The Lord is my God. Behold, a day is coming for the Lord when the spoils taken from you will be divided among you. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city will be taken, the houses plundered, the women raped, and half of the city exiled, but the rest of the people will not be eliminated from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations, as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which is in front of Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives will be split in its middle from east to west forming a very large valley. Half of the mountain will move toward the north, and the other half toward the south. And you will flee by the valley of my mountains, for the valley of the mountains will reach to Azel, yes, you will flee just as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah. Then the Lord, my God, will come, and all the holy ones with him. On that day there will be no light, the luminaries will die out. For it will be a unique day which is known to the Lord, neither day or night, but it will come about that at the time of evening there will be light. And on that day living waters will flow out of Jerusalem, half of them toward the eastern sea and the other half toward the western sea, it will be in summer as well as in winter. And the Lord will be king over all the earth, on that day the Lord will be the only one, and his name the only one. All the land will change into a plain from Geba to Rimmon south of Jerusalem, but Jerusalem will rise and remain on its site from Benjamin's gate as far as the place of the first gate to the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the king's wine presses. People will live in it, and there will no longer be a curse, for Jerusalem will live in security. Now this will be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the peoples who have gone to war against Jerusalem, their flesh will rot while they stand on their feet, and their eyes will rot in their sockets, and their tongue will rot in their mouth. And it will come about on that day that a great panic from the Lord will fall on them, and they will seize one another's hand, and the hand of one will be raised against the hand of another. Judah also will fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the surrounding nations will be gathered, gold, silver, and garments in great abundance. And just like this plague, there will be a plague on the horse, the mule, the camel, the donkey, and all the cattle that will be in those camps. Then it will come about that any who are left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem will go up from year to year to worship the king, the lord of armies, and to celebrate the feast of booths. And it will be that whichever of the families of the earth does not go up to Jerusalem to worship the king, the lord of armies, there will be no rain on them. And if the family of Egypt does not go up or enter, then no rain will fall on them, it will be the plague with which the Lord strikes the nations that do not go up to celebrate the Feast of Booths. This will be the punishment of Egypt, and the punishment of all the nations that do not go up to celebrate the Feast of Booths. On that day there will be inscribed on the bells of the horses, Holy to the Lord. 
and the cooking pots in the Lord's house will be like the bowls before the altar. Every cooking pot in Jerusalem and in Judah will be holy to the Lord of armies, and all who sacrifice will come and take of them and boil in them. And there will no longer be a Canaanite in the house of the Lord of armies on that day.